Hey guys, my name is Austin Reed, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create blog posts on WordPress using N8N and ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here's the game plan. Every single time that the video editor uploads a transcript to the Google Drive folder, we will then go ahead and process it into N8N, send it to a ChatGPT assistant that will generate a blog post and will push it to WordPress as a draft for my assistant in the Philippines to review. All right, so here is the workflow that we are going to build, okay? So a brief overview, we're going to check to see if the file was uploaded to Google Drive. Then here we are going to get the file. Here we're going to extract the text from the transcript. We're going to send it over to OpenAI to generate the article. We're going to then format it in the proper formatting, and then we're gonna push it off to WordPress. So if you guys wanna just skip the tutorial and just download the workflow, I do have a link for it down below on our blog, so go ahead and check that out. So jumping into the first node, here what we're looking for is we're going to connect our Google Drive account. Now, if you need help connecting that, I do have another video on how to connect Google Sheets to an 8 n Check out that video it's exactly the same process after that we're going to check every single minute for changes involving a specific folder from my video transcripts folder and we're looking for a file created okay then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go download a file node from the Google Drive account by ID and we're going to grab this ID right here all right, so now that we're done hooking up Google Drive, we're going to go ahead and extract from file. And basically, we can just leave it exactly as it is. Test the step, it will work perfectly. After that, we'll go over to OpenAI. We'll connect our OpenAI account, which is really simple. It's just one API key. I did show you guys how to do that in my video on how to use GPT assistance with N8N. So you can check that out if you need to do that. We're going to message our YouTube blog generator and we're gonna give them the data which was defined below. So jumping over to the assistant, let's go ahead and check out the prompt here. So your job is to create a blog post from a YouTube script. Each blog post will have the format of a title, overview, and main blog content, followed by a conclusion. I'm posting some example blog posts down below for reference. Each blog post should be 750 words minimum and written in a business casual voice. You should also format these blog posts for use in WordPress and HTML markdown format. You also need to generate a slug for the content created. The output response should be in a JSON file like this, title, content, and slug. Do not respond anything other than this JSON format provided above. Now, I did here upload a vector storage of 13 blog examples of some blogs that we've done in the past. So this really helps the GPT come out with really, really good responses in terms of the articles. Obviously, they're not perfect. They need a little bit of tweaking, but it gets you 80% of the way there. Now, I know you could technically use a function node here, and instead of asking it to format it as a JSON above, you could use the functions down below here. However, the N8N open AI node right now doesn't have the capabilities to do so, and I didn't want to use an HTTP node in order to do that, so there's a reason why I'm not using the functions capability of open AI, if anybody was wondering. All right, so hopping back over to N8N, once we message the assistant, we can go ahead and split the JSON. Now, basically, this is some quick chat GPT code that I made that pulls out the JSON from this output here and formats it into a nice and beautiful JSON right here that has title, content, and slug. All right. Then we're gonna go over to WordPress and we're gonna connect the WordPress credential. Now, with the WordPress credential, I am gonna show you guys how to connect this because I was a little bit confused at the beginning. So you need a username, a password, and the URL. Now, if you change your login, so right now my login is wp-admin. In the past, I have changed this to be like secret login, right? If you change that, it will not work. You have to only use the wp-admin as the login. That's the first thing. The second thing is this password right here is not the password to your account. So what you actually need to do is you need to go over to WordPress. You need to go over to your profile settings. 
and you need to go down to right here where it says add a new application password. Go ahead and click that, create a name for it. It'll give you the password. You copy that, which I have right here, and then you go ahead and you paste that baby right here in the password field. You click save and you're good to go. So basically what we're going to do is first we're going to make sure that we're doing a post. We're going to create a new post. We're going to grab the title, pull it over here, grab the author. We're going to grab the content, pull it here, and then grab the slug and slap it there. And then we can go ahead and test this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and test it by directly uploading a file here so you guys can see how it works. All right, now it does take about a minute to a minute and a half to generate the blog post. That's because this first node right here checks only once a minute and also because the OpenAI node does take about, you know, 20, 30 seconds to generate a response. That being said, we can see it as it's running over here in the executions. Right now it hasn't even started yet, so the trigger hasn't quite ran yet. I just want to show you guys over on the post side of things that we don't have any posts in draft. You can only see all published in trash, right? So anything that gets posted in the draft will be absolutely new. So let's go ahead and wait for it to do that. All right, so now it's running. You can clearly see that right here. So once it's done, it'll show and it just finished really quickly. Beautiful. Let's go back over to WordPress. As you can see, there's still none in draft. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. All of a sudden there's one in draft and let's check it out and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, maybe it could be written a little bit better. I will be evolving the prompt as time goes on. The title might change a little bit. That being said, it is a really, really good place to start for my assistant to be able to cut it up and turn it into a really, really powerful blog post, especially for some of these long videos. This one is really, really short. I think it was like a two minute video, but for a long seven or 15 minute video, you can imagine how powerful this could be for your workflow. So I hope that this video helped you guys out. If you guys would like to see some more videos about how to use N8N and AI and everything in between, go ahead and click like and subscribe in the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.